contact is via Facebook. Uh, it was really strange when I was there in 2003. We didn't have internet. Yeah. But now, eight years later, <laughs> uh, there's internet there and guys are on Facebook and I have to give them a hard time and ask them what they're doing if they're spending that much time on Facebook. Right. And now, that, do they keep Twitters and Skypes? It's just got to be a whole different way of communicating. It is. Um, and a lot of it has, you also have to be careful with what mm-hmm. you release because you are, you know, conducting operations in a foreign country. So I think uh, some of that is kind of monitored and right. probably suppressed, but a lot of it with Facebook and obviously email, you can get stuff back and forth. It's just amazing because um, my grandpa's a vet and he used to, you know, it was just used to be like letters, you know, that would take who knows how long to get to. And now it's just such instant communication which is really a gift yeah it is it's really really nice and uh it helps with while you're overseas being able to hear from your family on a regular basis um i think care packages when i was there would generally take anywhere from two to four weeks depending on where you're at in the country from to get to you Mm -hmm. um but emails uh, we actually my company had a satellite phone that we could you know call home on a fairly regular basis if we wanted to so that was nice what do you guys um put in these care packages uh beef jerky uh let's see what else we put in beef jerky like gatorade mix uh basically things that you can't get when you're in the field wet wipes are a big thing um kind of little amenities that Mm -hmm. you grow to enjoy that you sometimes take for granted that you can't get when you're on the side of a mountain or in the middle of the desert Right, because you can't just run right next yeah, door. Yeah, can't the gas go to Walmart station. and get it. Yeah, well, that's nice. Just like helping give those like little things, like you said, that we take for granted. Now, also, um, what if someone wants to come and learn about more about service? What if they really are thinking about, you know, putting their time in the service stuff like that? Can they come to you guys and ask you guys questions? Sure. Um, we've always been welcoming to people that are looking at going into the service because we want them to be educated about what they were, are, you know, possibly doing and always looking to help, uh, younger people or whoever is thinking about joining, you know, letting them know what it's really going to be like as opposed to what the recruiter is going to tell them. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and letting us know about these two great events you guys have coming up on Thursday, May 5th, the Armed Forces Day. Once again, taking place all day long, right outside the PSC for you, as well as Thursday evening, a concert. And that following Sunday, May 8th, the Platteville Wounded Warrior Run. I hope to see everyone out there in support for our veterans here at UWP.